The final problem we had was a column. Problem 1710 gives a column whose base is 15 millimeters and height is 35 millimeters. The length was changed to 295 millimeters and it's given that there is a elastic con uh, modulus of 207 gigapascals. Yield stress is given as 290 megapascals and a factor of safety of 2.5. Question is, what's the allowable force? The first step is to find this slenderness ratio and the column constant. Now the column constant Although this is a steel, it's a slightly different kind of steel than A36. So, in its calculation ends up being 118.7. Slenderness ratio, a little bit harder to find, that's KL over R. <coughs> it's given that it's pinned pinned, so K equals 1.0. The length we have right here. Question is R, square root of the moment of inertia, area moment of inertia, over the area. And there are two ways of looking at it. This is, you can look at it from one centroidal axis or the other centroidal axis. About the x-axis is going to be h cubed over 12, throughout the y-axis it's going to be hb cubed over 12. But we are interested in where it's going to fail, not which way is strongest. So we want to cube the smaller one. That will be where it's weakest. So we choose about the y-axis, not about the x-axis. So we're looking for the weaker one. So R ends up being three millimeters. So our slenderness ratio ends up being 68.1, which is still definitely less than the column constant. So therefore, it is intermediate, and we use the J.B. Johnson formula. In which case our allowable stress is equal to 1 minus the slenderness ratio squared over 2 times column constant squared all times the yield stress all divided by factor of safety. When that's taken into account we end up with 96.9 megapascals that's our allowable stress. Multiply that by the area our allowable force area simply being B times H and we get 36.3 kilonewtons. Again, for each of these problems remember that I expect to see a lot more work than what I've shown here uh, make sure you fill in all the intervening steps.